Warning, this video has been made by a total noob. He is in no way, shape, or final form a competent 40k player. All of these tips are this noob's mislaid hopes and dreams and are in no way guaranteed to make you a good player. Let's face it, he's not even won a single game. You have been warned. How's it going on guys and girls? Welcome back to Burnt Aquila Painting. My name's Graham and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm talking about four ways or four things that I'm doing to prepare myself for my very first tournament. So let's set the scene. You have a new army all painted up, ready to go, and you and a few friends after a few games say, let's hit up the local ITC tournament. And you're like, hell yeah. Sound familiar? Well, this is exactly what's happening to me at the moment. I'm going to my very first tournament next week called Confrontation on the 19th and 20th of March with a few friends and I am nervous. I'm not the best player uh, and kind of new to the playing side of things but I really want to get better and a bunch of the guys saying they were going and uh, yeah so I'm going with them. But the question is, as someone that's new to the playing side of a hobby, <coughs> hasn't even won a single game, <coughs> how do you prepare to get the maximum amount of enjoyment and competitiveness out of your army? Well, in this video, I'm gonna be sharing you with a few tips and tricks that I've been doing to help me prepare for this oncoming slaughter. Let's do it. Number one, write a list that's fun first, competitive second. There's nothing wrong with wanting or having a really competitive list. If you're the sort of person that finds enjoyment in chasing the meta and getting a really strong army, fair play to you, go for it. You're probably going to be a really hard player to beat. But as someone that's going to their first tournament, I believe it's better to go for a fun first and competitive second sort of list. At the end of the day, match play, narrative, open play, whatever you want to call it, Warhammer 40k is a game and it's there to be enjoyed. And if you're enjoying your game, you'll be more relaxed, more time to concentrate. You won't miss out on rules or stratagems that you could use that potentially could win you the game. Also, your opponent's gonna enjoy playing against you more. And like I said, it's a game. You're both there to have fun. If you're a little bitch while playing 40k, you're gonna have a bad time. Also, if you're having fun with your army and the list that you've written, you're more likely to put more effort in finding those better synergies between between troops, ways of playing with that army that benefits your play style, and that will give you a tighter game. And that brings us on to my second point. Number two, practice with your army. I am a very visual and practical learner. So when I'm doing something new, it, the best way for me to learn it is by seeing how it's done and then doing it. Putting this into a game of 40K is super easy because the best way to learn it is by doing it. It's a game, we play it. Having a few practice games and writing notes during those practice games can really help you to find out what goes well with our army, what stratagems work best, and what synergies can work really well between units. You want to find out the best way to play your army that fits with your playstyle. Also at tournaments, the games can be really fast paced. The one I'm going to is about three hours per game. So knowing how your army works, what to do at certain times, and when to use certain stratagems, and what aura abilities work best with certain units can dictate whether you either win or lose. With this tip, the more games, the better. And if you can, I recommend playing with different people because the more people you play against, the better view you'll get on how your army does against different armies and different play styles, which will all go a really long way to being prepared when you get to the tournament. Three, get some secondary and stratagem cards. When you have a time constraint, it's quite easy to get flustered in your games. I know I do, and we don't play with time constraints usually. <laughs> Might as well call me Captain Panic! So if you're like me, having those visual cues in front of you to what stratagems, what psychic powers, what certain abilities your army can do all laid out in front of you can really help in those moments of need. I recommend choosing only a few cards per phase and having them laid out in order of phase as well. So from the command phase all the way through to the morale phase. The card packs from GW you can get sometimes has quite a lot of cards in them. Keep in mind you're trying to streamline your game for around three hours. So I recommend trying to avoid having them all out at once. 
So having only a few cards per phase out at a time really helps to do that. Also I found recently in issue 472 of White Dwarf, it came with these handy secondary cards for Warhammer 40k. I think these are great. Having your secondaries out on the table so you can see them at a glance will really help you not to forget them. Like me. Also, if you can't get hold of them anymore, you can always make them yourself, writing them out on pen and paper or typing some up from the codexes and the books uh, and putting them out on sheets of paper. And talking about that sort of thing, it brings me to my last point. Point four, creating cheat sheets and flashcards. And lastly, my favorite tip, I've just used these in my last couple of games before the tournament next week, is creating flashcards for each of your units. These are just A5 pieces of paper with one side, it has your stat lines for the unit and your weapon choices, and on the other side, any psychic powers or abilities. These are so simple that it almost hurts to think that why haven't I used these before? All the information you need for a unit is there at a glance. They're not massive, so they don't take up masses of space. You don't have to root around a codex or a rule book to try and find that obscure rule or ability. You forgot the AP for an overcharged plasma what's it at half range? Oh look, <laughs> it's right there. These have helped me to speed up my game at no end. Like, I cannot express how much they have helped. And at the end of one game, I actually started remembering stats for units, which I haven't remembered in weeks. There you go, guys and girls. That is my four, four tips on how I prepare myself for my very first tournaments. I hope that you guys have found some uh, something useful in these tips. Let me know in the comments if you have. Also, if you've got any tips on how to prepare for tournaments or just games in general that you use, let me know what you do. It's always great to have a chat with you guys in the comments and see what you guys get up to as well. That's another video from me, guys. Wish me luck in next week's tournament. I'm planning on taking my camera so I can get some footage on who I battle and see little bits and bobs. Um, and depending on how much footage I get, I might put together a little video about my experience in my first tournament. So let me know in the comments if you want to see that as well. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like what you're seeing at Burned Acrylic Painting. I do painting videos mostly, but every so often a little gaming video like this will come about. Also, if you want to support me more, I do have a Patreon link down below. I've got two tiers. Just want to say a massive thank you to all my current patrons. You guys are awesome. It really helps me get the little bits and bobs that I need to make these videos. Usually paintbrushes, the odd paint, things like that. So thank you very much. Like I said, that's another video done for Burn Acrylic Painting. Take it easy, look after yourselves. Until next time. Peace! Warning, this video is Warning, this video has been made by a total noob. He is in no way, shape, or final form a competent 40 clay 40 clay? Hmm. <laughs> All of these tips are this noob's mislaid hopes and dreams and one